but it's really about helping keep you focused on your messaging by focusing on why you're different. PR, this PR side of things is particularly challenging for early stage startups because there are more early stage startups out there than ever before. There are just so many and journalists' inboxes are bombarded with early stage startups uh, raising their first funding every single day. So if you're wanting that kind of coverage, uh, you really have to stand out. You really have to uh, think about uh, what um, your story is, um, why you're different. Um, it, it could be something uh, like the the founders have a particularly interesting story of how they got started. It could be your investors. It could be the amount of money you've raised. Uh, it could be the product you're building. But in many cases, journalists will look at the product you're building and will say, come back to us when you've proven that it's a success. So that early stage of communications with the media um, can be frustrating for some uh, early stage startups, but uh, that's where your wider marketing comes in. And uh, you certainly shouldn't be looking at uh, communication with the media as your main channel of uh, communicating with the world. Um, some startups look at marketing and they look at uh, how they communicate with their customers and they think it's kind of not really that important um, at an early stage. But really, even if you're not ready to have a big flashy brand for your website and a, a big flashy uh, um, a website and uh, a communication strategy and uh, social media presence and everything that comes with that, even if you're at an earlier stage than that, it's worth going through thinking about what your brand is and what your uh, what your place in the world is and what your story is and how you're going to communicate that. The main myth is that marketing is a luxury and something that can be thought about down the line when you've scaled up a bit more and you're really looking to address a huge market. Uh, marketing and particularly branding is important at an early stage just for, if nothing else, making sure you yourselves understand and are communicating to yourselves as much as the outside world who you are, what you're about, why you exist, why you're different. We often see that the startups have the best relationships and ongoing relationships with their customers and the best loyalty and passion from their customers are the ones that have thought about marketing and uh, communicate well and speak the language of their customers because that's partly about uh, knowing who you are and why you're different and, and, and all of that. But then you have to think about how to communicate that in the most appropriate way for your customers. I'm thinking of companies like Stripe, for example, which um, uh, revolutionized payments and integrating payments into websites and apps. And uh, when they started, they were very simply communicating that uh, with just a few lines of code, you can accept payments. And that was revolutionary at the time. And the message there really is that all too often, startups overthink their communication when really, Keeping it simple is usually the best policy. You should think about what's different about you as a company, and then think about how you can communicate those differences. So they're the things that really make you stand out versus your competition, and then focus on those for your communication, both directly. So sometimes you will say, this is why we're different, but sometimes it may just, those pillars may just inspire the things you talk about on social media, but it's really about helping keep you focused on your messaging by focusing on why you're different. I think Eastern European startups communicating with uh, Western European and US markets often think, especially for example, in English speaking markets, they think as long as our website's in English, that's enough. Uh, they're missing out often on 
very small details and cultural references and ways that words can be used that they might not pick up on. So always get some guidance from someone in the country you're addressing to make sure that you've picked up on anything that uh, might need to be different about the way you communicate and look at the way your rivals are communicating there as well to make sure you're not missing out on any easy wins.